So, um, LeBron passed Kobe for third all-time in points, but did it matter? No, it did not. Um, the 76ers came in at home, and they did what they needed to do tonight. Um, I forgot that, um, or rather, I didn't forget, I I didn't even know that Ben, that, um, not Ben Simmons, um, Joel Embiid was injured tonight, but he was, man, uh, man um, that is, that is my bad. Um, and there's another preview for a game, which I do really don't want to do, uh, but we're going to do it tonight as well, because I want to get it out before tomorrow. Um, but, um, recapping this game was just, it was a lot of turnovers in this game, mostly steals, um, by the 76ers that really, and, and, and the three ball, the three ball that the, um, 76ers had tonight, um, uh, Menno, um, Al Horford stepped up a little bit, of course, Ben Simmons was Ben Simmons, and, um, um, those two guys definitely stepped up. Um, and um, tonight, and there was just a lot of good defense being played, man. Um, held the Lakers to only 91 points, their lowest total, um, you know, during the um, regular season. And it's 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 an insane thing to think about because I mean, good lord, you know, um, LeBron really he he did he did some things tonight, but he really wasn't much of a factor. Anthony Davis. It's things tonight, but he really wasn't much. He really didn't do too much. Um, 76ers had the clamps tonight, and they had a lead of up to 20 at one point, but ultimately, you know, Lakers just could not recover from all the three balls that were being thrown their way and all the steals that were also happening, you know, lots of turnovers again. Um, and also, you know, the fouls, there was some wishy-washy fouls in this game and I know it was the same thing that happened last week where there were just fouls that really probably weren't supposed to be fouls but they ended up being fouls anyway so yeah um Lakers lose their 10th game of the season um 76 is they got what 30 wins now um and you know it's gonna be a great improvement now here's a game that I missed off my radar because nobody talked about it at all, and it's a Sunday, uh, late Sunday afternoon game, so it'll be at like 5 o'clock p.m., 6 o'clock um, Eastern Time, and that is going to be Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans at home taking on the Boston Celtics. Now, you know, now, the whole Zion returns thing was something that I said in the previous video, or rather, I did that I said I did not talk about in, in the description of the previous video. Um, so if you want to get some context, um, go watch that last video with my preview for the Lakers Sixers game. Um, I did not talk about Zion at all, but uh, Zion's return on Wednesday was um, it was something that ESPN and all the other media personalities really slobbered over, and it was just disgusting. Um, you know, it was a disgusting display of favoritism, and, you know, it's kind of gross. Um, but, you know, they're playing the Celtics tomorrow, and the Celtics are a team that I also do not know much about. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you know, the media will, will shove the Lakers down your throat, and, of course, you know, as a Mavericks fan who doesn't actually watch a lot of Mavs games, um, but knows what's going on, and everything like that, so, you know, Luka basically not being a thing in the fourth quarter against the Jazz today, um, and the injury to Dwight Powell, which was tragic, um, things like that, um, so, you know, um, things have been going on with the Mavs, and they're like fifth or sixth right now in the West, that's not about, it's not about Luka, it's not about the Mavs, um, and my lack of watching their games, though. That's just the filthy casual fan in me that wants to see the top teams tangle. And I definitely want to see the Mavs on a Saturday primetime game so so I can talk about them more. Um, but, um, yeah, 
Zion Williamson and the Pelicans, which are like, what, 12th or 13th in the West right now. They could have moved up a little bit, um, dependent on, you know, the last couple of days and stuff like that. Taking on the, taking on the Celtics. Um, you know, don't, again, don't know much about the Celtics, but I can imagine that this would be a good one. Um, unlike the last couple of times that the NBA, uh, well, ESPN anyway, has tried to prop up these big Saturday games and big games, you know, for for their coverage on ABC and stuff like that that really hasn't gone too well. So there's been a lot of blowouts and a lot of unexpected games that have happened. So, but I think tomorrow, and it'll be um, in between some stuff, like it'll, like it'll start, like there's a basketball game that's going to be on earlier tomorrow um, that I'll be watching, um, so, uh, which I talked about in my college basketball video, of course, and the Royal Rumble is at 6, um, I'm not gonna, not even gonna torture myself with the pre-show and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, um, Zion and company and the Pelicans, they're gonna take on the Boston Celtics tomorrow, and it's gonna be a fun game, I guarantee you, sorry, y'all, I don't have much on the Celtics, um, not even gonna lie to you, like they, they really, nobody really props up the Celtics. Nobody really talk. Nobody really says anything about the Celtics. It's a, it's LeBron and Zion and, and Luca. I mean, I love Luca, but you know, it's about those three guys on the timeline all the time, and to uh, to a latter extent, James Harden, maybe a little Kyrie love here and there. Um, but it's usually about the players on the timeline and not so much the teams, which is kind of tragic to me. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for the night. Um, you know, um, and we'll recap all the college basketball stuff tomorrow. Um, tomorrow night, um, it'll be late after the Royal Rumble. And I'll recap the Royal Rumble tomorrow night as well. We'll do both those videos and we're going to have a good time maybe we'll talk about um tomorrow's game as well we'll put all that stuff in and make it you know two videos and stuff like that because we got to talk to Royal rumble um don't talk to me about nxt and stuff like that do not please don't please i don't know anything about nxt i really don't um i, I just like to follow w i just like to follow wwe and that's about it um, but not NXT. So, I, mean, I, I just I just don't have the energy to you know follow uh, like nine different events, like nine hundred different events each and every um, week and stuff like that. So, um, but again, I'm kind of rambling at this point. Um, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow for you know another couple of videos or so, and then um, Super Bowl preview. <laughs> Which is again, I, I'm stall, I'm stalling for time here and stuff like that. But um, Super Bowl preview will be, um, you know what? I'll, I'll announce that tomorrow. I'll announce it tomorrow. We'll find out. A uh, shout out to the new guy who subscribed. You are the real MVP. I don't know who you are because it didn't give me the notification as YouTube does. Um, but you are the 47th guy to come up on here or gal you know, or transgender or whatever, you know, you are a 47th person to come here and listen to some not, not so thrilling content, but some content that's analytical, and likes to, you know, really get opinionated and stuff like that, so, yeah, um, this video has gone on a little bit too long for my taste, so we're gonna get on out of here and see you guys tomorrow, so, that being said, big boy out. Peace.